So our first speaker tonight is Luke Zhang. Luke is an experienced data scientist with a demonstrated history of working in the data science, machine learning, and software industry. He is skilled in Python, data, data analysis, Linux, Linux, and uh, other algorithms. Additionally, he is a strong engineering professional with a triple major bachelor's degree focused in computer science, software engineer, mathematics from Rose Holman Institute and Technology. Please help me welcome Luke Zhang to the stage. All right. So hello, everyone. My name is Luke. And I'm really happy to be here today to give you guys a talk about data. And you guys already stole my first slide, so we're going to dive right into it. So outside of my triple major from Rose Holman, I'm working as a data full-time full data scientist at Demand Jump. I am also just got accepted into the master program of computer science at Georgia Tech. So finger crossed, hopefully I'll finish in two years. Um, so what is big data? As a lazy millennial, I straight up copy and paste this from Wikipedia. So to me, data, big data means the data is big. So you might ask, how big is it? So, and I'm using memes for my talk. <laughs> that, that's supposed to be a joke. Come on, people, light it up. It's after hour. So let me tell you, what, this is what happens in a minute in the internet for 2018. So 18 million text messages were generated in every 60 seconds. $863,000 goes to online shopping. And most importantly, 1.1 million Tinder swipes that happens <laughs> in social media, in social dating. So I guess a lot of people are trying really hard to find true love. So that's data per minute. Let's see even crazier numbers. Overall, 2.5 quadrillion bytes of data was created every single day last year. 90% of data in the world right now was created in the past two years. That means we're getting more and more data in a faster and faster pace. 3.7 billion people use the internet nowadays. That's 50% of the total population. And for internet device, we are getting more and more smart device to install in our home to make us feel smarter. So after seeing all those crazy numbers, you might think, oh, I own a small grocery stop shop. I don't really care about those tech and data stuff. I don't care. The thing is, you should care. So this is a, a source from Forbes. This represents how data is bringing changes to every industry and every department. The column represents different industries, and row represents different uh, departments. The bigger and the brighter the dot is means the more impact the data is bringing. As you can see, uh, you can't really see really well, but data impacts every department in every industry. You might ask, how do I utilize those data? First thing first, let's check out Google's data. Now we are all addicted to Google. Whenever you run into something, you Google that. Last year, actually right now, there are six, 63,000 searches that's being performed every second. People don't know anything, they search for Google. So if you are a content creator or marketer, why don't you go on Google? Figure out what, what is hot right now, what is a hot search word, what is hot content. Go figure out what you should write to figure out the right content to write for the right uh, audience. If you're a small business owner, why don't you build a recommendation system within your product and figure out what why your product were popular and why those products were selling so well. Amazon is doing that and everybody loves it. So is Netflix. And that's why we spend so much time Netflix and chill. And if you're into Powerball, <laughs> jackpot. Go study the previous numbers and figure out why those numbers went. And if you figure out that number, let me know. And that's a joke. Don't do that, because I don't think that works. And thank you for the quick four minutes talk. If you have any questions, find me on LinkedIn, email me, and that's it. Thank you all. Don't delay. Get your ticket for the next Sparks event today.